Hi everyone. I'm back to give you another column from my archives and this one is called Sweet Corn Lover and I wrote it in August 1983. If I had a bushel of soybeans every time the kids asked, when are we going to have some sweet corn on the cob, Mom? Before the season arrived, I'd be up to my earlobes in beans now. Becky is our most fervent corn lover. Her salivary glands start working overtime at its mention. Corn season is finally here, I'm glad to say. Dozens of steaming golden ears often grace our dinner table. All the Manskys should be satisfied at last. Not Becky. She sits at the table with a sour look on her face every time corn is set, beside, be, set before her. Becky is six and a half, you see. And at this time in life, most other six and a half year olds and her have a funny thing that is happening to their corn chopping front teeth. They're falling out. The first day of sweet corn eating season, Becky wiped out two incisors, one top and one on the bottom. Well, they didn't actually fall out as she bit into the corn. Eating the butter dredged vegetable only loosened them into uselessness. It was two days of wiggling by Becky before they were tooth fairy bait. Now Becky and her jack-o'-lantern grin come to a sweet corn dinner with mixed feelings, wanting the corn yet afraid to eat it. The other night, Becky sat watching the succulent corn steaming on her plate inside. <sighs> well, I said, let me help you. And I reached over with a knife. I'll cut it off the cob for you. That's no good, Mom. It's not the same cut off. It's ordinary corn then when it's off the cob. Becky grabbed the long ripe ear in both hands, contemplated the best angle of attack, and began chewing. A six-year-old corn lover eating her favorite vegetable is quite a sight. She half chews it with the side of her mouth, half gums it off the cob, and half inhales it through her nose, all the while giving herself a corn juice facial. In between ear assaults, Becky had to rest and gain strength for the next assault. This also gave her time to check on the status of her remaining incisors, all of which seemed to be losing ground. I expect by the end of sweet corn season, Becky will be short another tooth or two. For the corn lover that she is, I would say they couldn't be lost for a more delicious way. I hope you have a good day. I hope you get to eat some sweet corn. I love sweet corn and my friend just gave me some and it was delicious. Have a good day until next time.